Check this out. Today, I've got the keys to the brand new Maserati MC20 Cielo, and I'm gonna find out what it's like to drive. This is not gonna be my official review video. Stay tuned for that next. I've been very excited about this. I drove the standard MC20, and this is not near what we saw in the past. This is actually a hard top drop top, and the code name Cielo stands for sky. It's Italian for sky, and this is an Italian automobile. So I cannot wait to see if it is worth the money today. I want to show you around the car. There's so much going on with it. Look at all the carbon fiber down below. This is definitely a high option to Maserati MC20. I'm such a big fan of this paint job. Look at like the pearls and the light blues walking all the way backwards. You see the blues just pop out with the flakes. I think Maserati did a fantastic job with this car and I just love the body lines. I'm looking at it. It looks so Italian, doesn't it? I've pulled over at a random just park because I just took delivery of this car and I'll have it for a little while to really get a feel for what it's like to drive. And we have even more carbon fiber all the way throughout the back rear bumper. So I do have a lot of questions that I really want to answer. I drove the standard MC20 a little over a year ago, I think. And it was a great car. I really enjoyed the way that a Tuno 3 liter V6 actually uh, was put together. You get a ton of turbo sounds and <laughs> noises with the vehicle. And this being the hard top drop top and also having a rear window. Check this out, coming all the way out back, you have an actual rear window like a lot of the other convertible spiders out there that are Italian or British meaning you can lower that window and listen to the exhaust while driving. Right now, I'm talking very fast because I want to get back inside the car. There's a heat wave hitting California, and it's essentially, uh, it's 100 degrees right now. Towards the coast, it's like mid-70s, close to 80s. So I think the idea is get this car towards the coast this weekend and also go for some good drives. You know what, though, before we get any further, I want to lower that top. You guys got to see how good this thing looks. So the top is down on the Cielo, so again, this stands for sky, and the reason why is because when you're inside the car and the top is down, all you can see is the sky. I love the Italian homage right there. Just when you look at this vehicle, it looks like an Italian supercar, doesn't it? And if you really look at Maserati's pastime, we haven't had a supercar Maserati in decades, and they're finally back, and when I look at this, even after driving uh, the 296 GTP Ferrari not too long ago and some of the other Italian cars, this just, it feels like it's found a sweet spot so far out of a visual appeal. You know, it looks like a great GT car, but also it's got so much technology with all the carbon fiber that I think it really, it, it can, you know, hold its own against Ferrari. So I'm excited to test it out this week to see how it really comes together. I'll put a couple hundred miles on it, I think, to try to give you guys a good impression of the vehicle. The side profile, it looks incredible, especially with the massive carbon fiber side skirt right there. It really reminds me of the, uh, what was it, the MC12 Maserati, was it the race car? If I'm wrong with the name, I'll put it over the screen right now and a photo of it. Anyway, so guys, to wrap up outside, it's really hot. Zero to 60, three seconds, 9.2 seconds to zero to 124 miles per hour, about 11 second quarter mile. Uh, and I just think when you look at it, this is gonna turn heads everywhere. So let me quickly hop inside and let's just drive it around briefly for this initial delivery video to show you my first impressions. But I am pumped and I think you can tell right now. Okay guys, here we go getting inside the MC20 Cielo, the sky. I can see the blue sky up above me. It's, it's really nice being in here, but let's start it up and, and see what it's like to drive. So initially hitting the start button right here on the steering wheel. It's cool to see, uh, put my foot hard on the brake and the Natuno 3 liter V6 twin turbo is activated with 621 horsepower and 538 pound feet of torque. All right, so to go and drive, just pull the right paddle shifter. I'm excited about this, guys. I love getting in various different cars, especially supercars. You know, it just they have so much drama in seeing this 
aqua marina metallic paint job it looks incredible in every angle you walk up to the vehicle it, it completely changes with the tones of blue it goes a little bit silver it goes to an ice gray at times then really dark blue with the flakes metallic flakes ever I, I love it and if i were to say what differentiates this car more so than any other car that I've driven is the paint job because I don't see other companies make paint jobs like this. It's that different. I'm just stunned by it. And the whole body design, you have massive arches over the front fenders and you can see them right through the front windshield. It's really cool. But let's get out of GT mode, quickly put in a Corsa mode, put in manual shifting and let's do like a quick pull real quick. And then uh, I think we'll wrap up the video. This is just again, a first look at this uh, new supercar delivery we're dealing with right now and I'm excited to share with you guys more content with the vehicle. Wow, it just feels so lively with the carbon tub. The rotation feels really good. <laughs> it's different. You have so many different noises with the turbocharger. You have like a whiplash every single time you let off on the gas after accelerating. So downshifting, getting to a lower gear. Hear that? <laughs> okay guys, this is it. Day in the life so far, right? Of driving a Maserati MC20. We're driving through a mall right now, got the top down. It says it's 100 degrees outside, but you has gotta live it up. But so far guys, this thing is incredible. It's just, it feels so Italian in this car. All the details, all the carbon fibers bolted on through the, out the interior of the panels. It's just, it's very different than uh, my McLaren and also even the Ferraris. It feels very just true to the Maserati name, but refreshingly new in the supercar scene. And the AC's on very loud, so ignore that guys. But overall, Driving around right now, even though, even though I'm in Corsa mode, it feels like a car I could drive across the country, and you can't really say that about a lot of supercars out there. It's just comfortable, and the details with the Alcantara blow me away. I could see myself driving this across the country uh, if I didn't care about the miles, obviously. It's just so well put together. You would think at times an Italian brand might not have the best quality, but the name Maserati on a car like this, I think it's completely changing the brand. I really do think this car, there's a sweet spot for it, and I'm excited to break down where it really can stand next to the competitors on the market. If you've enjoyed this first look on this initial delivery of this $339,000, very well equipped Maserati MC20 Cielo, please hit the like button, it really does help me out, and subscribe for much more great content coming out your way. And while you do that, hit the notification bell so you up to date with all the new videos coming out when I post them. You'll get an alert when that happens. And uh, in summary, I'm just I'm excited to hear what you have to say about this car. I know a lot of people uh, are really like the paint job and the overall visual aesthetic of the vehicle. So I'm curious to hear what you have to say. Let us know in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching again, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Stay tuned for the full review.